did everything. All right, guys, we're back in solo learn today doing jQuery. Um, I don't use a lot of jQuery, but I, I do think it's an important language to get started with, or library rather, um, especially when you're just learning JavaScript because it's kind of an assumed skill that you're going to be able to work well with jQuery. We have a short little course here. Let's go ahead and dive into it. jQuery at its core is very basic. You use selectors and they do things with those selectors. So what is jQuery? Um, it's a rich, fast, small, futurist JavaScript library. That's pretty true. Um, so a JavaScript library. And um, so in the past, if you needed to select a document by uh, select an element, you do this by ID. Now you could just use jQuery syntax and uh, assign the function after the, what you want to do. So you're selecting the ID with our jQuery selector, and then we're doing something with it. In this case, we're overriding the HTML to be go. Pretty cool. So um, uh, we'll call var e as our var e for our element, and we'll say e dot enter HTML is equal to test. This is how we would change the text of a single line in the past with just pure vanilla JavaScript jQuery makes this much easier. First thing you're going to need to do is import your JavaScript, or excuse me, your jQuery library using a script tag. This isn't native to any browsers, so you'll have to do that. And you can simply pass in the script tag like so, the source, the, uh, and finally fill in the blanks. So we have our script. Oh, and then of course your closing head tag here. So you want to throw this in your head in your header, or no, in your head tag, because now we have header tags in HTML, not to be confused there. Now, um, in jQuery, we use this dollar sign to basically say, this does jQuery. This is kind of how it works. Um, now, when you want something to load on default, you need this document.ready function, and then you throw your jQuery in there. All this is saying is, is imagine it has two tags. This is your first tag. And this is your second tag. And what you're doing is you're basically saying, please run my jQuery in here. And it gives you uh, it gives you a little bit more. But that's all it is, is start jQuery within here. That's the gist of it. There you go. So ready is used to basically prevent any jQuery running that's not designed to be in there. We'll see right here, we have our function, start, go. So what's going to happen is this is going to select the, the ID start, and we're going to change the inner HTML, or the text here, to go. And if we try it ourselves, we can kind of see it in action. might make a little bit more sense, so let's go ahead and do that. So we have our JavaScript here, which is basically just running this immediately. And when we run it, you'll see that our inner HTML changed this start text to go. That's all that happened there. I'm going to close these other ones. Learning Angular 2 in the meantime through a lot of great YouTube channels. Um, which symbol is used to access jQuery? The dollar sign. Which, if there's a technical word for the dollar sign, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what it is. So, you're basically, uh, you do the dollar sign to say jQuery. It says access this jQuery. You pass in your selector and then the action to do with or at that selector. In this example, we're targeting all paragraph tags to hide. In this example, we're ta targeting all classes with demo to hide. In this example, we're targeting an ID with the name of demo to hide. All right, so we want to hide an ID, so, or uh, to show an ID. So we're going to use the jQuery selector, uh, the dollar sign, and then we're going to pass in the selector we want. In this case, is ID, so we use the hashtag. And then for the show function, we simply call the dot show on it. And wham, bam, we're done. So selectors, uh, we've been talking about. You can select elements. You can select IDs. You can select classes. Uh, you do need to make sure you use parentheses within there, so make sure not to make that mistake as well. So with the class of demo, that's the dot. Uh, remember your CSS. It'll become pretty apparent. You can also use um, CS3 conventions, so, such as selecting the first paragraph element. Uh, all div elements with the class menu. So you can do div dot menu. You can also do uh, all. Uh, you can do multiple selectors. So you can do all H1s and P's by just putting a a comma. 
And um, you can do, if you put a space, all paragraph elements that are descendants of a div element. And then if you want to select all the DOM elements, you can use an asterisk for all. Well, select all the A tags. So we're going to define our selector. And we're just going to pass in the A tag, which are inside paragraph tags. So if you want to do that, it's PA, like so. Useful selectors. So you'll see there's a bunch of selectors here. Um, if you're familiar with the first three or four on here, basically the ID, the dot class, and the element, those are the bulk of what you're going to use. You, you can see how it can get kind of more and more complicated. But basically anything you can use to target your CSS is kind of what you can do in um, jQuery, which is a rough rule of thumb. So select all the elements that are direct children of div elements. Whoa. Select all elements that are direct children of div elements. So throw in the asterisk. Remember, the asterisk is all. So you can you can see it can get kind of co complicated right there. They threw one that you probably wouldn't do too much of, but you can. So what symbol is used to access jQuery? That's the dollar sign. Uh, fill in the blanks of jQuery manipulations as soon as the document is loaded. So again, we're using the dollar sign. And then uh, we want to pass in function. In the past, you'd use document.ready, but function will work as well. Fill in blanks, paragraph, following, paragraph, P, just like the following paragraph, uh, PID. So uh, we don't need to target the paragraph. Instead, what we can do is target the ID and put in dot test. Excuse me, the ID is hashtag. Hashtag test. And select all H1 and H2 elements. And if you want to select multiple elements, that's separated by a comma. And finally, if you want to select the children of the element ID demo. So what we're going to do is our jQuery selector. And then we want the ID demo. And then we have a space. Notice the space right here. Then the paragraph tag. We want the children, the paragraph children of demo. And that was a quick overview of selector. What to really get away or from jQuery. What to really get away from, from this first section is how does jQuery work? jQuery works basi basically off using selectors that's a crew that is the the bread and butter if you will of jquery and the functions that we're going to work through in these next couple of videos um it will make your life much easier than doing things in vanilla javascript and is kind of, will be very helpful as you learn jquery to kind of get you prepared to learn other frameworks like um angular or react so thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to support me, you can go to patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding boot camp, check out devmountain.com, where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.